680 Business Editor Richard Southern joins us now. More housing news today, and if you want to buy a home in the GTA, this won't be a shock to many, but it's going to cost you a pretty penny, Richard. Yeah, and a big round number for the first time, Erica. Good evening to you. For the first time, the average home price here in the GTA has reached a million dollars. Seven figs here. This is the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board out with its February numbers. And boy, the housing market on fire last month. Take a look at this. The average selling price, just over a million in the greater Toronto area. When you break it down, though, the uh, the detached homes continue to, of course, cost you the most. The average detached price at 1.3 million plus. Even semi-detached homes, Erica, going for seven figures here on average, just over a million for a semi, up 20 percent. Townhouses, 858,000 on average. The average condo price was actually lower at 642 grand, but sales for condos did rocket higher in the month. So it's a <laughs> tough market to get into. You know, the pandemic has only heightened uh, people's interest in homes and near record low mortgage rates have just added fuel to the fire. Area. It's just incredible. Uh, the Canadian government is recognizing the pandemic is still causing economic problems for a lot of people, so they're extending the life of a few subsidy programs. Certainly notable news out of Ottawa today. Canada extending now the emergency wage and rent subsidy until June 5th. So those programs are going to continue as is until June 5th. The wage subsidy will continue to provide up to 75% of coverage to eligible employers, and the rent subsidy will remain at 65%. We heard from the Canadian Federation of Independent Business on this today, Erica. They said uh, that it's good news and that it's going to help businesses plan their staffing levels, but they said they'll be waiting to see what supports, if any, will be made available to the businesses who have been able to open and are not uh, therefore eligible for these supports. And of course, Erica, today marks the 100th day of lockdown here in Toronto. Some businesses in the city have been closed for 80% of the time during the pandemic since it started last month, last uh, March. So uh, it continues to be a very tough situation here. Yeah, grim number. Uh, and finally, a popular arts and craft store that has seen its profits go through the roof during the pandemic is going private. Michael's, you ever been into a Michael's? I have, yeah, not recently though. Do some scrapbooking and, uh, you know, get your, get your paints A lot of people have been up to that lately, I think, yeah. Well, that's the story, right? I mean, these guys sell all that craft stuff and people have been stuck at home and that's what they've been doing. Like Michael's reported earnings for the past three months that were up 15% to $1.4 billion. Online sales have doubled. And so along comes the Apollo Management Group out of the States and they say, well, we're going to buy Michael's for $3.3 billion, betting, it seems, that that pandemic crafting craze will continue. Michael says 1,200 stores in North America and 44,000 uh, employees.